Wow, I'm super excited to be dating some demons instead of fighting my own, am I right? Hey everybody, I'm Kelsey and Peachy K and welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be playing the game Monster Camp. It is a dating simulator where you play as a monster who is going to summer camp to date other monsters. It's the sequel to the game Monster Prom, which you may or may not have already seen me play before. If you have seen me play a dating simulator before, you might know that I have very bad luck. <laughs> I don't normally get the boy or the girl. I'm actually a voice of one of the characters in this game. We may or may not see them in this playthrough. Her name's Rachel and she's a gossip monster, so you have to find her. So what I really want to accomplish today in Monster Camp is I wanna find love. I want to not get ghosted. There's just one me and we're gonna do a short game. So the stakes are real high right now, okay? We only got 30 minutes to make someone fall in love with me. Camp Spooky, the stage of some of our dearest summers. Back then we were young and unafraid. Who am I? This girl, she's awesome. I've never played as her before. This guy, adorable. Like, look at his little buddy. This girl is normally the girl that I play as, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and then there's this monster man. I think I'm gonna go for this flame girl. She's adorable. Her name is Red, but I'm gonna give her my name. No, I'm gonna name her Chelsea, because she does not look like me, so we can make some sassier decisions. I feel more enabled to do weirder stuff when playing the game. Okay, here's all of the campers. This is all our options of who we can date. Close to the last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening just three weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch that dang thing together. And so a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster prom all over again. Whoever we were going to ask on a meteor shower date, it was probably gonna be one of the six coolest people on that bus. So we got Joy Johnson, Jojima, a badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. A Ravi Mishra, a hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. This is hilarious. So it's a curse, but the curse just seems a little mild, like a mildly bad roommate. Calculuster Hewlett Packard, version 1.1, a library computer that had become sentient robot, ready to experience life to its fullest. Dahlia Aquino, a buff blue demon and warmonger who had set her sights on conquering summer next. She seems like the most fun so far. We got Damien LaVey, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Boo! 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 Damien W last time, I'm still not over it. And Milo Belladonna, a death reaper doubling as an internet influencer who is profoundly in love with life and all its earthly pleasures. Now, the, when I have played this game, I played with Milo and Milo, honestly, just chef's kiss. Chelsea's gonna break the ice now and tell what her favorite hobby is and that will define who we like kind of click with and we should pursue. So what's my favorite hobby? Very anime workouts, being popular, efficient farming, saving the world, raising succulents or crimes. I'm not Kelsey today. I'm Chelsea and Chelsea might like doing crimes. Oh, it's Damien. I mean, who knew? I did, I, I knew. It was me, I, I was the one. Chelsea, maybe you and I could get into the crime biz together. It's never too early to start thinking about your future. Ooh, okay. We only have three weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. Let's get in here. I'm ready, I'm uh, We have quite a bit of charm. We don't have a ton of smarts or fun. My overall game plan is to just like get as many points up as as we can. I think I'm gonna focus mostly on boldness and fun because I feel like that's what Damien would want. So we've got a bunch of different places. We have the Camp Dome, we have the lake, we have the woods, we have the scout headquarters, and we have the manor. They all represent different abilities you can gain just from going there. So I think I'm gonna start with fun because I'm lowest on fun. Now let's have some fun, this beat is sick. She's cute, I love her little swimsuit. Oh my gosh, you're in the lake sunbathing. It's kind of relaxing, but hella boring. What's the issue? Have you lost your ability to have some fun unless you're playing video games or partying in wild raves? I mean, maybe. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, you see the problem now. You didn't put on sunscreen, but fun screen which has a fun protection factor of 50. You wash off the fun screen away with some water and put on some sunscreen. There you go, you prevent some sunburn and gain plus two fun. Afterwards, you manage to convince Damien that <laughs> he's not wearing a shirt. Afterwards, you manage to convince Damien that back massages keep away mosquitoes and you're really getting after it when, hmm. hey, huh, has that weird chuckling lamp always been over there? What weird, oh, wow, wow, okay. Hmm. 
There's something weird about this lamp. I just can't put my finger on what. <laughs> this chameleon just came out of nowhere going, hey. No need, Damien. The only person who's been burned here is you by my impeccable disguise. Ooh, ooh, you've got an idea. Get a high power job in the fashion industry and make red the in color for this season and next season and every other season forever. Or hide Damien in a giant bowl of delicious Hawaiian punch. I think I wanna hide Damien in a giant bowl of delicious Hawaiian punch. I feel like he would blend right in. So fun, yay, I did it. You can do that? He is thrilled. I am thrilled. I, I honestly was like 50-50 unsure if that would be the right choice. So I'm very excited that I got lucky. Yeah. Oh, you can do anything with camouflage, son. Not to brag, but I once snuck into the G8 Summit disguised as a guy who was running naked through the G8 Summit. Anything's possible. Chelsea, you grab some punch and fill a bowl. I gotta, I gotta run an errand. I'll be right back. Okay. I'll grab some punch for you. You know better than to ask questions, so you borrow a giant punch bowl from Rowdy, the punch-loving giant, and start filling. A few moments later, hey, I'm back. Don't ask me where I got all these jewels or who's blood this is. I'm getting into the punch bowl goodbye. Oh my God, he just committed a lot of crimes and then is hiding in the punch bowl. No sooner has Davey disappeared into the punch bowl than two cops come running into camp hot on his trail. Hey, you two, yells one of the cops. Did you see an international jewel thief slash murderous demon run through this way? Don't ask me, I'm just a lamp. Ooh, week one night, okay, here we go. If I sat next to this moth, I could talk to the moth and get some gossip and maybe run into the character I voiced. But I'm gonna sit next to Davian and Dahlia because I really wanna get on Davian's good side. You're cozying up by the fire and join the smell of gently singed conflict. When you remember that conflict doesn't have a smell and actually you're hearing it. It means that you're not the VP. You would never be the VP, just like you'll never conquer the eighth circle of hell. How dare you take that back right now and put it to bed. Ha! Like we even need you. My dead grandma can play the drums with more rhythm than you can. You politely interrupt to congratulate them on having a band, apparently, and ask what the trouble seems to be, since you're known for your conflict resolution skills. So, our Ventagram has really been taking off in the whole Camp Spook Katina night scene, which is actually a shockingly saturated and competitive market. Hey, yeah! Twice I lead singer, so it's pretty easy to see that she's the CEO of a band. I'm clearly the band's vice president. No, I'm the band vice president. The drum beat is like the heartbeat. Without the drum, the body can't breathe and die. Well, what do you think, Chelsea? Who's the VP of the band and Joy's right-hand man? Oh, what a nice try, Damien. A good vice president can carry the band through rough times. Who else but Dahlia has the strength to lift an entire group of people? That... No, I'm not going to say that. That's not That's not good for Damien. Joy is clearly a screamo band to release anger. She needs a VP like Damien to constantly make her bad so she's always inspired. Oh, yeah, that's the right one. Damien gave me a little noise, and I loved that. This is ridiculous. Joy isn't even in the band to release anger. She's in the band to realize her full autistic potential. And because she wants to spend more time with me. Dude, Dahlia, the band is literally called vent a -gram, As in, she needs to vent. No one's called vent a -gram because vent a really great system to keep cross spaces cool and air not polluted. But the band is called vent a -gram because of screech belting bloodthirsty lyrics is how Joy relieves the stress of having the pressure on her to literally save the world all the time. I guess I have to go redesign her album cover. And I guess you're the vice president of the band. Oh, you're a pro! Thanks for having my back there, Chelsea. You got it, Damien. <laughs> Bring out your flasks. Okay, I'm gonna use... Okay, what'll it be then? Should I use my skills or I'll take a gamble? I wanna use my skills. I don't wanna gamble. I got skills for days. Weekend arrives and it's time to visit Juan, the small, magical Latino cat. Oh, look at Juan! Look who's here. Really, I don't know who in their right mind would tackle take such a risk to visit my bar. I guess you have more thirst than common sense. Probably true. Anyway, get ready to party. Okay, here's the drink menu. All right, all right, all right. We gotta go for a good one. Okay, here we go. There's the love potion. Love potion. Okay, I think both of these are good. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Get back up there. Get back up there. Yes, that one. Ooh, 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 ooh. That one, that one, that one. Ooh, ooh, ha, ha, ha. Ooh, we got it. We got love potion number nine. Love potion number nine. You know what? If he doesn't love me naturally, I'm gonna potion him. I'm gonna make him love me. Ah, the love potion number nine. The right way to get someone to like you is by being yourself and finding someone with whom you can match. But the fast way is by drinking this drink. Hope you can stomach that happy trails. Yes. You know, it's insurance. It's insurance, that's all. 
All right, we only have two more tries. Let's go, fun. Ugh, there's a flare in all my selfies and not the cool on purpose kind, filter kind, an actual accidental sun kind. It's like the sun doesn't even care about the gram. Ugh, the sun, I hate the sun. Oh, well, it wasn't a huge deal to me. No, 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 it's a huge deal. The sun is huge and it sucks and I wanna punch the sun in the face. I've always been great at throwing shade. Time to take it to the next level, I guess. By punching the sun. So Chelsea, any non-psycho ideas? Call upon the Lord of Shadows because he probably has some shadows to spare. Wear a really big hat. I mean like really big. I feel like Lord of Shadows would be one that Damien would probably like, but I feel like a really big hat's kind of funny. Really big hat. No! You're reaching to your swimsuit and pull out a huge hat. It's so big, like ridiculously big, insanely big, as big as the whole lake. Pull out a second hat because options, giving your friends the choice between a fedora the size of a cruise ship and a sombrero as big as two adult sperm whales. Thankfully, Kia Spooky is every bit as bizarre as Spooky High, so no one questions the physics of any of this. In fashion, one day you're in, the next day you're out on a limb, risking your neck, literally. I think you'll snap your neck if you put either of those on. Sick, do it, do it now. Ah. I lose two fun in one fold in this. No! Okay. I think I really still need Make more fun. Space. I'm like running low on fun, so I think I'm gonna go fun again, even though I really wanted to go boldness. While looking around the lake for a private place to take a pee, you find a treasure map buried in the sand. It leads to an X in the center of the lake. So you gather a crew of trusted friends, don your eye patch, and sail out there to find the booty. When you arrive, you find a tiny island with a single palm tree. You dig up a box that says, open in case of a very boring day. Oh, I wish I had one. You open the box to find two fun. Okay, here we go. It's our last chance. We have to get this one right. You're wandering through the woods, hoping to meet some slutty pine cones. When you Listen see Damien, up, noobs. actually kind of psyched you're here. I know you do that cute thing where you're super dumb sometimes, so I'll explain. You know what, what about wildfires, right? <laughs> he called me cute and also dumb. And by wildfires, obviously, I mean fires that run wild in the forest. The ones I'm trying to catch all summer while I'm about to catch one. Mad. Using this awesome hole in the ground that I covered with leaves and stuff. So the next time a wildfire runs over here, it'll fall in the hole, boom. And then I'll train that wildfire to be my pet and we'll have an unbreakable bond for life. Now, come on, hide in this tiny bush with me until a fi wildfire runs by. Ooh, he wants me to hide with him. Take one look at the bush. It's super small. Hiding in there with Damien is going to be require some really close quarters. You thirstily follow right behind him. Surprising no one, you both step on Damien's trap and fall into the hole. Metal! Oh no, my trap is so good that even it tricked me its own creator. That's pretty freaking metal, hole. Oh my gosh, wait. If this hole is going to trap a wildfire and we just fell into it, oh, are we trapped in this hole? Quick, adjust your new living situation and make the best of it. Okay, right. attract the morbid interest of mass media to cover your tragedy. Maybe they can throw you down some free pizza. Is this hole so different from your normal life? Are we all trapped in a hole like society? The best you can do is give the hole a cool name like F-Berg. I think maybe giving the hole a funny name will be great. <gasps> Whoa, I never thought about it like that. Yeah, we are trapped in the hole of society. And now we're in a hole inside that hole. That's so deep. Hmm. And I always wanted to rename society F-Berg, but apparently you can only rename a society if you're the vice president. That's Damien So I officially style, declare myself the vice president of this hole and I officially declare the hole to be known as F-Berg, baby. A few days later, some reporters show up to cover the heartbreaking tragedy of two hot young adults trapped in a big hole. You know, reporters have some big juicy butts in your head instead of brains. You're the ones trapped in a hole. We're free down here. F-berg, F-berg forever. Oh my gosh, Chelsea, you're the most metal press secretary that F-berg has ever had. We're gonna have a bunch of rich yuppies coming in here before you know it. Let's Airbnb those yuppies, yuppies till they're broke. Eventually, one of the Airbnb guests gets tired of falling into the hole, so they throw a rope down into F-berg. You and Damien climb out of the hole with all of your cash, and Damien burns up the rope trapping everyone inside forever. <laughs> Chelsea, no matter what happens between us, we'll always have Fberg. Here's looking at you, kid. It's romantic. We have a good amount of fun and let's we have an okay amount of boldness. So let's see. Okay, I could just live my own life on my own and be a queen, or I could go for Damien. We did have the low potion, so maybe that'll help. I you know what? I'm really nervous. Part of me wants to just choose myself because it's a safe option. But like, I'm not here to play it safe. I'm here to find summer love. Well, they make a cute couple, so I should. Here we go. All right, Chelsea. You finally gather the courage and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. 
You want to be my summer fling? Oof, here's the problem. I just ordered from this pizza place, okay? And they have a promo in which you get free pizza as long as you don't date Chelsea. You're not that bad, but pizza's definitely still a better option here. So get lost. I have some free pizza to order. <laughs> you failed at finding summer love. No! Oh, I was so close! I'm so sad. Well, I was done by Damien twice, and I hate it. <laughs> I still had a lot of fun playing the game. We will always have F-Berg, even though he dumped me. You know, I might have not found summer love, but there's always next time, you know? I put myself out there. I might have not gotten the love that I wanted in return, but Damien said I wasn't that bad. And I'm gonna keep that with me. <laughs> there he is! Kelsey and Peach Chaos, Rachel! That's so cool! Oh my gosh, I popped in the credit. Well, that was fun. Thank you so much. I hadn't seen myself in the credits before, so that was fun sharing that with you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.